Hey guys, uh, so this is just a quick thing that I made. Um, basically, on the forums we had this uh, this problem where we couldn't um, teleport easily for the guys with the Google um, Google VR or whatever. So I made this little node. Um, basically what it does is it allows you to gaze in a direction and it'll allow you to teleport to wherever you gaze to. Um, <clears throat> there's just some basics to it. You have this gaze allowance, uh, which allows you to have a little bit of uh, leeway. Uh, the higher the number, the more you can move your head before the uh, the gaze like switch and switches and triggers off. Uh, you have the gaze length, which is the maximum distance you can look. Um, you just feed it your, your head position and your head rotation. Um, if you're using a different headset, you would just feed in the head rotation and head position as usual. Um, no problem, no, no, nothing weird there. Just uh, put whatever HMD you're using and plug in the positions. Um, then you have HMD scale. If you want to use that, you can. Um, here's where you select your HMD type. Okay, so you've got Gear VR, Google, Oculus, Steam, etc. Um, so you can pick whatever head headset you're using. Um, you've got your uh, unit. So this is the icon that you're going to place to let the person know where um, they're teleporting to. Uh, so that's that. And then here's really basically the other two um, inputs, which is your teleport time and your tele uh, trigger time. So trigger time is the amount of time you have to wait before the icon appears. And this is how long it takes after the icon appears for you to teleport. So it takes, uh, like basically I have to gaze in a certain direction for 1.5 seconds. That'll bring up the teleport icon. And then uh, once the teleport icon shows, uh, I have three seconds to teleport. Okay, so um, you can adjust these if you want. You can set these to whatever you would like, uh, and that's basically adjustable. So that's that. Um, just feed it your level update, and that's basically all you have to do. Um, in this one, I am also feeding the scale. So basically, uh, so that the icon is not like, you know, big when it's close and super small when it's far away, I'm just scaling it over the distance um, of the icon. So I can, I, I give you the icon distance all the time and this does uh, stop updating once the icon is placed. So you get a consistent icon distance once you've placed it. So if you're moving your head a little bit, it doesn't change the icon scale, uh, over, you know, a little bit of movement of your head. Uh, so it does that automatically for you. Um, and it, you can put a multiplier here. I'm just doing a little multiplier to make it smaller, uh, generally speaking. And then I plug that into a vector components and feed that into my scale. And that's really easy. So you can do this or you don't have to do this. You could just leave it at whatever scale you want. Um, this is just optional. Uh, and then on the visual timer, uh, so what this is, is basically I'm feeding uh, a teleport percent into my uh, multiplier, which just basically, so this is giving me zero to one, and I have eight frames in my teleport icon. So this is just allowing me to multiply against that. So, you know, at zero, it's going to be zero still. At one, it'll be, um, you know, eight. So it's, it's basically scaling from zero to eight now. So that's what this does. And then I'm just feeding my scalar uh, input to a material variable. And my material looks kind of like this. Um, I'm using a, uh, a flipbook to adjust um, the, the uh, icon itself. And I've done this all with RGB, so I didn't have to have a lot of images. Basically, my red, green, and blue just are channeled out, and they're doing different things so that I can, um, you know, basically adjust these colors as I please. So to see how this plays out, I'll show you in a second. Um, and you have an emissive intensity if you want it to glow. Uh, but to look at that material, um, here it is right here. So as you can see, I can change color one, which is my, you know, little, um, you know, read out, I guess you could say. So here's the frames. So one through seven, there we go. Um, and I've got my color two, which is my lines. So I can change the lines if I'd like. Uh, I've got my color three, which is the, oops, the outline right here. So we can change the outline to be, you know, orange if we wanted to, whatever we'd like. Um, and then the emissive intensity only affects the, the glowing bits on the inside. So, I don't know, that looks kind of nice. Let's just see how it looks faded out. Yep, that looks good. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, that's how this works. And that's what it does. All right, so let me show you how this plays out uh, for the end user. Okay, so let's just go um, level viewport. 
Uh, you just place the icon here, and then again, you're just going to attach that unit basically here. I'm using a variable so that when I do it here and here, I don't have to have you know, lines going everywhere. I just created the unit variable, and I'm feeding the unit variables here, here, and here, and that's basically it. Okay, so uh, level viewport, I'm just going to go ahead and hit play, and show what it looks like in the HMD. So now I'm in the HMD, and I'll make this a little bigger for you so you can see it. Okay, so here I am in my little test room. So I can just kind of look at the floor, give it a little bit of time, and I teleport. And I can look over here, give it a little bit of time, and I teleport. And if I look at the floor, I teleport. So that's what I'm Oops. And just to show some other cases where I may not want to teleport after, I'm sorry, my HMD is acting weird. So I'm just going to look. And if I look away, it disappears. And if I look back, okay, so that's basically it. Simple, easy teleporting without a button. All right, cool. Just wanted to show that off and see what you guys think. Thanks a lot.